What's going on guys? Quick little technical analysis on SoFi as we get into these earnings after hours. So today is currently August the 2nd. Not a bad little day for SoFi. It's up 20 cents and about three and a half percent. Obviously this could just be an earnings run up here, but I do like what I'm seeing. If you guys have been following me, you know I have this uh, upward trend line here that I've kind of drawn out. It has proven to hold um, every time we kind of come down into this range here, we bounce off this area. The only time we briefly lost it here was for a matter of about three days before quickly engulfing that three days worth of price action, pushing back up to the top of the range here at the 50 day moving average. So one thing that I do like is that we did take out the last two days worth of uh, trading action here and we're over the 50 day moving average. So not only are we over the 50 day moving average, but now we are over uh, the 10 day moving average. So this is extremely bullish here. You can see that we are coming into a level of resistance going back to price action from July the 25th. We are trying to challenge that area here. So that top price here is gonna be around $6.61. I have mentioned this in prior videos before, but that $6.61 is going to act as a level of resistance. Now, depending on how we close before uh, we get these earnings, if we do close over 661, 661 and the earnings are decent and or the market reacts in favor, we could see a run up into the upper Bollinger Band as well as the 100 day simple moving average. And that price is going to be sitting at around $6.90, $7. I would look for a stretch into that area. So again, if you guys are playing shares and you guys are going to play into those earnings and you're looking for a 50 cent, 60 cent, a dollar move, maybe, right? Maybe if you're looking for that, you could sell for some profits in the after hours. Now, if this is definitely a longer term hold for you, this is remains a hold until we lose the 50 day moving average. If SoFi loses its 50 day moving average on a daily time frame, then I think the narrative starts to change. And I think we would want to get out of that position, even if it is a little bit of a longer hold, just due to the fact that I think we can get a much better entry. Now, if your position size is very, very large and you've been holding this for a while, you could try to average down if something decides to go sideways. Our uh, macro levels of support are going to be $5.72 as well as $4.85. But overall, what I'm looking at just based on a technical point of view, not taking into effect earnings, not taking into effect any, any type of news or anything that's going on with the company fundamentally, just based on pure price action and technicals, this does look good. If we can get SoFi to close over this 10 day moving average, it does look good into some sort of uh, after hours earnings run up. And I would be trying to target that $7. Now, if we just kind of go a little bit outside of that, anything over $7 definitely has room to run into $7.62. So just kind of keep that in mind as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this type of content, make sure to li uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to join the Discord, all of that information is down in the description box below, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.